Look at that. It's on a jack. Well, the guy's probably thinking, Eddie, what the hell are you doing with this thing? Some, some exhaust, some aftermarket racing parts? Kinda. We're gonna put a battery in it. Yep. Then the next question wonders, why the hell do you have the back jacked up? You wanna know where they put the battery on this thing? Right there. That's where they stuck the battery. Right there. Right here. Let me turn the light on for you. There you go. Right there is where the battery is. So we gotta get this fat Mammo Jammo tire out of the way. And uh, then we can replace the battery. We got one in stock. Actually, not in stock. I, I knew the battery was dead, so I got one. Nice little Napa battery over here. And the next question, you're probably wondering, Eddie, anyway, I thought you'd leave this thing on a tender. I do, but this battery, guys, so this car is a 1996. This battery, I believe, has been changed one time. This will be its second time. So you do the math. And I'm gonna see, I think the year is on this battery. I'm very, very curious to know what year this battery is because it has been replaced. I don't remember when it was been, been replaced, but um, you know, the, the, the question you probably think is, why don't you put it on a tender? It is on a tender. So I always keep it on a tender. I mean, look at this. I even keep the cord on the tender. All I gotta do is grab it right over here. Look at, right there. See that? There's the, the tender cord right there. Because this thing sits, so we keep it on a tender. And uh, give you guys a little quick info. So it is a 1996 Dodge Viper. Some of my OG subscribers already know that I've had it. It sits in the other garage. We pulled it in this garage because uh, number one, it's hot. And uh, number two, we got the ACs on in here. So it feels very good. Uh, 1996 Dodge Viper, the mileage. Oh, look at that. Look at this. You see that, guys? So that's another thing that sucks about this car. Uh, well, I'm changing the battery. But... The issue is the car now, because the battery's dead, you cannot open it because these are electric. So you're pretty much screwed. And that's why I took the keys out of this thing because what you can do is you can use the key. This is how uh, we had to do it last time. Is I took the key, opened the trunk, climbed through to open the door because I, I don't remember, but I think once I put a new battery in this thing, the alarm system is going to go off. I, I don't know. And the second problem we have now is uh, I left the key in the ignition right there. So uh, if the alarm goes off, uh, well, I don't know. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. But let's uh, bust this tire off real quick. All right, first things first, we're gonna pop this cap off. If any of my subscribers out there uh, got a Viper, oh, this is a change battery. Uh, pop it off. I use plastic so you don't scratch anything and get ready to grab it because It's gonna fall and you don't want to fall on the floor. I'm gonna have to put the camera down for this guys. Hold, hold on one second. All right And there we go. We got the cap off So now we're going to done with this. We can put that back Bust these lugs off clean it check the brakes. This car only has like I don't know 8,000 miles on it seven eight thousand miles. So um, Sure brakes are brand new all right, look at that. It tires up. Look at that little fatty tire, boy. That's a fat tire right there. It's amazing how people can lose traction in these things. This is a, got some nice meat, nice meat on this thing. But hey, you know what? Gonna have to go fatter, I guess. Okay, so once that tire's off, guys, well, it's gonna uh, let's pop these out right here, and I'll uh, reload one little clip right there, and we'll, we'll show you. Okay, so well, after 4,800 bolts uh, to take out that piece of plastic. We have now finally have access to the batteries and I don't see the date on this side, no sticker. I'll look up top or it could be on this other side. Let's just, uh, first things first, pull this thing, pull busties off and let's get this battery out of here. Well, there it is guys, battery is out. I don't see anywhere here, but it is punched out here, August and then there's a six on it. It's 2006, I believe, dang, it's 15 years old, wow. That's a pretty old battery. But we got the new Napa battery in there now, so we're gonna get this thing installed, and we'll see if the alarm goes off. Okay, battery's in now. Keys are still in it. Let's see, is there a red flashing light on? If there's no red flashing light on, yeah, so that thing's not flashing right there, so I think we're good. I think the door should finally open up now. Bam, there we go. Excellent, we're good to go, guys. Now we're gonna throw this tire, we'll throw the cover back on, Throw this big old fatty girl on, and well, we'll be good to go. Okay guys, tire's on, good to go. Now, let's go give her a 
quick little bath and see uh, who off the... She starts right up before you guys ask me the exact mileage. 9,068. I think I said seven or eight. So 9,068 miles on this uh, old girl right here. Oh yeah, purr like a kitten. She's running good. Started right up. You know, it's amazing when you put a nice new fresh battery, how your vehicle just start right up. All right, now that her bath is all done, just pulled it in, we're wiping it down. Uh, I'll wipe a little bit, you know, like I said, it's mainly spot free. So, see these like spots? I just started wiping it. There's still some water here. Uh, too much. Yeah, some up here, so I'll start wiping it down. Uh, you know, so I usually let it sit in here for a while and let it like air dry for the majority of the time before I start wiping it down. And what I use to wipe it down is the Lucas Slick Mist. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites and just a, you know, little Kirkland rag or I got some other softer rags, but this stuff works really good, guys. So, it's that easy. I don't know. It's been 20, 30 minutes. Just gave everything a quick little wipe down. Uh, wipe over. Always got a little water like sitting in here. We got some water sitting there. So, gave it a little wipe down. I'm uh, going to do a little maintenance on it, you know, check the oil, check the air filter, make sure everything's clean, fluids look good, topped off, and the next thing now that since the, the vehicle's all done, cleaned, wiped down, I'm going to do the interior, so this thing, you can see the leather, it's a little dry, I mean, there's really nothing family, that's all plastic, I think the only leather really is the seats and the door, that's about it, so what I'm going to do is I use this stuff, you guys can uh, go DM Genesis Detailing, he has all this stuff, that's where I buy it from. And I'm gonna do this uh, for the interior cleaning right now. And other than that, guys, that's gonna be it uh, for old girl over here. She's gonna be all done and uh, ready to, I was gonna say hit the road, but ready to hit the garage and go sit again. We gotta go get her smogged, but we gotta go drive her around a little bit because I changed the battery. So when you do change the battery on pretty much any vehicle, what happens is you get rid of, pretty much wipe out the drive monitor. So. We gotta go drive it around, get these drive monitors met, and then head to the smog shop and go smog this thing. Hey guys, well, I forgot to tell you that I gotta drive with the windows down. Well, because the AC don't work. And I'm sweating my, you know what, off in here. So, uh, we gotta pretty much put a new condenser in this thing. And I can't find a condenser for this car anywhere. So for the Viper guys out there, if you guys got like a hookup or a place somewhere where I can buy parts, because this condenser has been apparently discontinued and nobody has one. So help me out. Well, I know. Looks like it's midnight over here. The light just died on me. We're gonna have to replace these things. These things are just horrible. But uh after smog, shop, fixed AC. Actually, no, take it back. We didn't fix the AC. We charged the AC because it was so dang hot. But the old girl here passed with flying colors, so it's awesome. And, uh, well, we gave her a little bath, and now she's back in the garage. We got to get the uh, bubble back up over here, clean it up, and get it right back in the bubble. So there you have it, guys. If you want to know how to change a battery on Viper, well, that's the fun you're going to get into. But that's all I got for you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.